don't know who it is, man, it's Trouble Street News, keeping my ears to the street to bring y'all the latest news, raw and uncut, and today on the roster, we got that boy 50 Cent, he just did an interview and he brought up a couple things, but before we get started, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below, that way you get notified every time I upload a new video, without further ado, man, let's get it, and make sure you watch the video to the end so you can see the fifth interview. Fifth sat down with Morning Hustle, and they asked him why he didn't do a versus. Because Fat Joe said the only way he'll do a versus if it's with Fifth. Fifty said, "Yeah, when the pandemic hit, and they came up with versus because everybody was deciding what they wanted to do next." He said that was a good ass idea. He said when we started coming back outside, he didn't see the point of it. He said it just didn't make sense to him anymore. Then one of the hosts said, "Why don't y'all take verses on the road like a concert? That way you can make money off it." Fifth wasn't hearing that. And Fifth admitted, he said when Versus came out, it was like the hottest thing. He was even paying attention to it, like everybody else. He said it was like D-Nice was the only DJ on the planet. Fifth said when Jeezy and Gloopwop did the Versus, he think Jeezy did it out of desperation. He said because Jeezy had an album coming out, so one of them asked Fifth, do you think it worked? Fifth said Jeezy still didn't sell no album, so it didn't work. He said it was probably leading up to that because they figured how much the catalog is going to cost and how much exposure Jeezy was going to get. Fifth said, other than that, he don't see why Jeezy did it, because it didn't make sense. And you know Fifth, it don't make sense. He ain't doing it. And then he was telling the host how him and Joe went to dinner last week. And he was telling them their relationship's better than if they was always friends, because they're more conscious and they'll never try to fuck each other over. But here goes a video clip for y'all to check out. The other day is Fat Joe, and we talked to him about verses, and he said the only person that he could think to battle would be Fifty Cent. Now, how do you feel about doing a verses battle against Fat Joe? You know, I thought. Look at this. Stuff. I thought verses was something we did when we were stuck in the house. <laughs> <laughs> look, the soon as the soon as we got out of the house, like to come back outside, I was like, like verses didn't make sense to me. Anymore. Mm. But what if you took that same element of verses to a live venue, so where you could really get the bag, make a tour out of it, make a few dates? I mean, people want to hear these records live. See y'all doing. There's so many other ways to do that. <laughs> so, look, look, look. See, the reason why the, the, the verses part, like to me, to be honest, because because of how it came, like I looked at it like verses to me that showed up and was the hottest thing. I was paying attention to it, like watching it, like everybody else. Mm -hmm. like, I'm watching it, like this is when D Nice is like the only DJ on the planet. Like, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> like we watching it, I'm going, yo, this is like COVID just hit. This is crazy. What are we doing? And we just looking, and we all trying to figure out what we're doing next. Mm -hmm. You know. And then as soon as we come back outside, I'm like, I don't know why we're still doing it. Like I think when when they did the 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 GZ. Gucci man, yeah, yeah. Gucci man. I think that, that that was desperation on on Jeezy's part trying to sell the record. Do you feel like it worked? No, the record didn't sell. Damn. The record didn't sell, but the the uh, I think that's what that was leading up to it because they looked at how much a catalog will sell and how much exposure you'll have, mm -hmm. or because he was releasing a record at that point. You know what I'm saying? Right. Other than that, I don't know. Why you would do that? Because he said you, you're smoking on Pookie Low. <laughs> that was an aggressive moment. I thought it was, a, you know, I thought Guns was about to be drawn, but I feel like the teachable moment was like, yo, these people who have had all this bad blood between them and uh, under them, they was able to piece it up for an event. So it seemed like it just blew the doors wide open. So damn, why couldn't Fifty maybe do a versus with a, you know, a game? Or why couldn't Fifty do one with, you know, any, you know, anybody you've had beef with in the past, whether it's Ja, whether it's Fat Joe, whatever. Like it just seems like if they could get over it, anybody could. Yeah, yeah. I just think when when you get to some of those things, like these things, are, even though they're not, we're not passionate about them. We're not like looking to go kill each other. That like we, it, it's really real. Like I feel like it's WWF shit when you start doing that. Like mm -hmm. yelling in the room and trying to benefit from it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, low uh, low level, real quick. I, I, I go. I just had dinner with Joe in Miami. Like this was like um, what like two weeks ago. Okay, Miami. We had dinner like. Sat down and ate. Because I, I look like I would, he, he, his beef is for reasons, I'll be developed for reasons that um, I'm at fault for also. Because he has, he's loyal to a default. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? So when you, and you can understand that because you, you loyalty is your I'm whole a, thing. So in a different way, and I'm going after the fact when we when we calm down. He said, "We're well, we really upset, but it really happened because it happened because you were so loyal to this that you kept acting like you kept moving like this, right? And I'm identifying with it and going. He's uncomfortable and he's cool with this this side of it. It's already because he established a relationship with John. Mm-hmm. And what you know how they say that these are ops. This is where the kids look at it now. The, the way I look at things, I go, if my success is creating a discomfort for you, you are my enemy. Mm, understand. That's a fact. I think that way too. Because my happiness is causing a discomfort for you. You know what I'm saying? So this means you would like to stop me from being happy for you. And it would, it would make you make you happy. Like, you know, how you, my grandfather would say, my enemies, enemies are my friends. Like, this, this is a thing that, like, People come together and make a common bond with each other on just just like it. So the fact that y'all did squash it, you know, and you're able to have dinner together. Let's just say if Joe got up to go wash his hands and a fly flew on his plate, when he came back, would you tell him? Yeah, Joe, no, it's a fly. They don't eat that. Get the new one. Oh, that's do that. <laughs> this is a changed man. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that to him. Like, it, it, you got, you know, it's interesting, and it is, it really is like this when. When you develop friendships or relationships when you were previously at odds with each other, you're more conscious of each other than when you were friends from the beginning. So we we are more conscious of each other. We don't really fuck each other over or do anything. See, some some people become complacent. They're so comfortable with their friendship and their relationship that they'll go past what you're comfortable with. Wow. And say I'm sorry. As growth. Just say I'm sorry after they've gone past what you're comfortable with. They'll go, yo, I'm sorry, man. You know, I didn't mean to do that. And, right. And expect you to just accept it when when I'm conscious of it. So we don't never cross each other's boundaries or paths in, in any other kind of way because we know how it how it started and how it is now. All right, we back. Yeah, fifth percent some real shit. But I'm done with this video until the next time. But if y'all like any part of the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And hit the notification bell down below that way you get notified every time I upload a new video and come subscribe to your boy you got eight fingers and two thumbs all you gotta do is click the link it don't cost you a thing and share this video so I can get into the YouTube algorithm which y'all know peace love and respect and pray for a better today so to be a brother tomorrow we out